Today, we're gonna to build this high quality archery target. It has three killer features that I think every archer is gonna love. First, it has a flat face, so paper targets sit flush up against it. Second, after a lot of shooting, it's very easy to repair. And third, it only takes an afternoon to make. Let's build it. To complete your quest, you will need threaded rods, nuts and washers, lumber, and foam mats. Now that I have all my materials together, I need to figure out how long to cut the pressure treated 2x12. The mats that I have are 24 inches long, and I need to be able to have enough room on either side for the all thread. That means I need to cut down two pieces of 30 inches long. The pads that I have here are recycled from underneath our old swimming pool. What I am going to do is cut off each of these tabs so that the target will look a little bit nicer My plan is to cut each of these mats in half using the table saw. I've done some tests and the table saw is giving me by far the cleanest cut on the edge and I want that for the face of the target. I'm using this piece of wood to hold it down and that seems to be working really well. It's making a lot of mess but still working all right. If you don't have a table saw, you could certainly use a circular saw to cut these and get that nice smooth edge. Or you can use an X-Acto knife, utility blade, box cutter, just like I was doing for the tabs. To mark where we want to drill the holes, we're going to come in an inch and a half in both directions. And I'm gonna mark out the hole where we wanna drill. So we need to mark that out on all four corners of this piece and of the other piece that we cut down to the 30 inches. Because I need to allow this 3 8 rod to fit through the hole, I've gone one size larger and I'm using a 25th, 32nd drill bit to drill the holes in each of the corners. That will allow this 3 8 rod to pass smoothly through. This is going to be our bottom piece and we need to put in our all thread. And then hook on a washer, a lock washer, and a nut into each one. Now it's time to fill up the center of this archery target with all these cut mats. I have a lot more than I need because I'm recycling these ones, but I'm gonna fill this up pretty much as high as I can. I'll throw out any ones that are cut or aren't working for me. So let's get filling. Now that I have all these stacked roughly how I want them, I'm gonna put that other piece of wood on top and I'll put the bolts on and start to tighten this down. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I have this on and roughly in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down flat, loosen it up so all of these can get flush with the two pieces of wood and give me a nice even front facing part. Alright, that's looking pretty good. One eternity later. This target worked great. I am really, really happy with the performance. All the shots were able to score very easily because the paper was flat and it didn't move around. Previously, I built a target that's full of fabric. And while it's super easy to pull the arrows out, you can just do it one handed. They flop around a little bit and also it kind of gets a little bit bulbous and so the paper doesn't lay flat. So it's a little bit hard to score. This one scored great. The arrows were a little bit hard to remove, and I think I had this tightened down too much in the beginning, so I loosened it up so the mats weren't so compressed together, and I was still getting reasonable penetration. It wasn't going all the way through, and made it a lot easier to pull them out. So I recommend not crushing the mats down too much. I'm really happy with the durability so far. The mats have pushed in a little bit in a few places, but overall it's still really flat and I think that that's gonna hold up well. If I do have them start to chew up or fall apart, I can easily take those ones out or just move them to different places where they're not being hit as much. The target tags that I'm using, I designed those up in Fusion 360, and I have a link to Thingiverse where you can download those files and print them if you're interested in those. If you don't have a 3D printer, I have a link, an affiliate link down below to buy both the paper targets and the little tabs for holding them on to a target like this. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also consider subscribing if you wanna see other videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and take care.